Hello and welcome to our guide to the 10 best free VST plugins in 2021, ranging from innovative, highly unique delay plugins to fully featured virtual synthesizers. So without further ado, first up is Vital. Now, if you pay attention to plugin releases, you'll have seen there was a lot of hype around this plugin last year. I mean, there were people that genuinely waited years for this thing to be released. And when it did come out, it did not disappoint. So Vital was finally released late last year, and it was undoubtedly one of the most exciting plugin releases of the year. It features three powerful, high quality wavetable oscillators, each with frequency warper and wave shaper controls. An additional sample slot is also available, which can be used to add noise or other audio textures. You can also transform your own samples into wavetables, and this adds a huge amount of creative control. I mean, this was one of Serum's main selling points when it was released, and this kind of functionality in a free plugin is pretty unheard of. The three oscillators and the sample slot can then be individually routed to two separate filters, each containing 32 eclectic filter types. And you can also assign the three envelopes, four LFOs, two randomizers, and several other modulation options to a wide range of parameters. So let's have a quick play through some of the free presets. Also remember, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Um, it just helps us create more videos like this. Also be sure to comment down below your favorite free plugins that we didn't cover in this video. Next up is Slate Digital's high frequency dynamic processor plugin, Fresh Air. This lightweight plugin offers a no-nonsense method for adding a crisp, spacious feel to a sound without adding any harsh, resonant frequencies. In my experience, it gives particularly good results on vocals and it makes it really, really easy to add presence and clarity to a vocal sample. So the plugin has a really simple stripped back design um, with two main knobs. So you've got mid air and high air, each knob affecting a different frequency range. Each one adds its own unique tonal flair. So mid air adds a clean, spacious warmth to the sound and high air adds this smooth, lush high end. So here's what fresh air sounds like on some vocals. Far away, far away. Far away, far away, far away, far away, far away. Overall, definitely worth giving this one a try. As always, all the links to these plugins are in the description below. Moving on, we have the criminally underrated subtractive synthesizer, Monique. Now, this plugin used to cost about $50 right up until last year, but strangely, the official site for the plugin seems to have completely disappeared. So it's possible they're no longer in business. I don't know what happened, but thankfully, Monique has now been re-released completely for free on KVR Audio. So let's take a look at what this plugin actually does then. So the engine has three oscillators with three corresponding filter rows across the interface, each with a variety of interesting parameters. In the oscillator section, Monique allows you to scroll between different waveforms, and then each oscillator can be independently hooked up to various filter envelopes, effects, and configuration settings. The plugin also features an EQ section, an arpeggiator, and various effects such as reverb, delay, and distortion. To put it simply, Monique, like Vital, is a synth I would never expect to be free. Plugins with this level of detail and sonic complexity are usually in the mid-high end price range. So let's take a listen to some of the presets. <laughs> So moving on then, at number four, we have Cymatic's Drum Transient Shaper, Diablo Light. 
This free plugin is designed to give drums more power and clarity using detailed transient processing algorithms. The engine, again fairly simple, consists of punch and clip controls. These really enhance the drum sounds, boosting the transients and really allowing them to cut through the mix. In my experience, this plugin definitely gives consistent, hard-hitting transient effects. I usually use this on kick drums and it can really turn a dull, relatively soft sample into a powerful dynamic dynamic kick drum. So let's take a listen. Uh, this is just a basic kick with no effects. And this is with Diablo turned on. You can definitely hear the sounds have more power and impact. Um, yeah, this one is a great free lightweight plugin um, just to add a little punch to your drum sounds. Next up is Ample Sounds Ample Guitar M Lite. Now you may have come across this one already, but it's really hard not to include this one. Um, it's just that good. In my opinion, the most difficult instrument to emulate through MIDI has always been the classical or acoustic guitar. A guitar performance brings a certain level of personality and articulation that has always been difficult to reproduce through, through MIDI notes. But this plugin bridges the gap between virtual and real guitar performances better than most paid guitar plugins out there. First of all, the sound quality is stunning, so you immediately get a rich, warm tone full of detail and clarity. There is also a noticeable amount of variation and expression in each note that is played, and these sonic imperfections really give that authentic feel to the sound. So here is what it sounds like in action. So yeah, pretty good stuff. So for anyone looking for a highly realistic acoustic guitar plugin, this one really should be on the top of your list. So at number six, we have something a little bit different. So that's the free Bit Crusher plugin, Trick It Crush. This plugin is capable of almost any bit crushed effect you can imagine from subtle digital crunch to bizarre warped effects. It is also very light on CPU with a really clear layout. So perfect for beginners as well. Now, I do understand bit crushing effects aren't to everyone's taste, and they usually only really work in more aggressive electronic genres, but Crush comes with a ton of flexibility, especially for a bit crusher. The interface features drive, bit depth reduction, and sample rate reduction controls, as well as two analog modeled resonant filters. It also features a modulation section with some really cool parameters in there as well. So let's take a listen. Like I said, not to everyone's taste, but still a really good plugin for creating those mangled, bizarre effects. Okay, so at number seven, we have the Viking VK1 synthesizer. Now this plugin is definitely more geared towards producers looking for a vintage, old school sound, as this is an authentic emulation of a classic monophonic analog synthesizer. In my opinion, it gives a really rich, smooth analog character that is quite hard to find in other free plugins. Even the 228 presets alone give a really impressive range of 80s pads, leads, wobbling bass lines, early 90s stabs, and obviously with a little bit of experimentation, you can make any sound imaginable. So the engine, we've got three variable wave oscillators, two ladder filters, and a multi-wave FLO with two modulation buses. It's worth mentioning as well for a full synth, this thing is really low on CPU as well. So I'd recommend it even if you're not working on the best system. Next up is the incredibly underrated delay plugin Chow Matrix. Now this thing has a huge amount of functionality for a free plugin and boasts many features usually only found in commercial delay software. So the fundamental concept of the plugin is based around these delay line trees, with each node containing its own properties such as delay time, feedback, pan, pitch and distortion. 
It also lets you interconnect an infinite amount of delay nodes and adjust the parameters individually. Probably the most interesting feature of Chow Matrix is this insanity control. In a nutshell, this control can be used to create chaotic, unique modulation effects within the plugin. And by increasing the insanity, the delay nodes begin to wander randomly with a speed and intensity determined by the value. So let's take a listen. Honestly, you could spend hours playing with this thing. It's definitely geared towards more unusual styles of delay. At number nine, we have the free effect plugin bundle called M Free FX Bundle. Now, this is a pretty extensive collection of free plugins, including auto tune style pitch correction, reverbs, EQ, compressors, and multiple utility tools as well. Now, a small downside you can't pick and choose which ones to download, it has to be downloaded as a whole, as a bundle. But once downloaded, you can pick and choose which effects you actually want to install. Going through all the plugins in this bundle would be way too long winded for this video, but I do just want to highlight one really useful plugin called M Auto Pitch. This plugin is really useful for vocal auto-tuning and can create anything from robotic, futuristic effects to fine-tuned minimal adjustments as well. But like I said, that's just one plugin in the bundle. In total, you get 37 free plugins, so I'd say this one is an absolute no-brainer. And finally, we have Tyrell N6. This free virtual instrument is an absolute classic. It's a compact, powerful, subtractive soft synth capable of producing and manipulating some really high quality sounds. N6 has two oscillators and a noise oscillator, a ring modulator, two LFOs with eight waveforms, as well as an audio source mixer with authentic overdrive and filter feedback. It also comes with 580 presets and you can find much more online. So if you're in the need of some rapid sonic inspiration, this plugin is a great choice. Let's take a listen to some presets. Not only does it sound great, it also has a really intuitive design, so it's perfect for both beginners and more advanced producers. And there we have it. So that's our top picks for the best VST plugins in 2021. If you found you got some value out of this video and want more content like this, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Any support is massively appreciated. Also comment any free plugins down below that we didn't cover in the video. And if you do want to browse literally hundreds more free plugins available online, I'll leave a link to our website in the description as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.